Hey guys, what is up? Parker Randy here, and today I'm reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh. You saw it. You saw it. So, part three. Part three. P3. 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 Um. Quick stab it. <laughs> Tuesday. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am super good at video games. I'll bet I can beat anyone in my great head to head. Unfortunately, Dad does not exactly appreciate my skills. He's always getting on me about going out and doing something active. It's night after dinner when Dad started hassling me about going outside. I tried to explain how with video games you can play sports like football and soccer and you don't even and you don't even get all hot and sweaty. But as usual, Dad didn't see my logic. Dad's a pretty smart guy when in general, but when it comes to common sense sometimes I wonder about him. Slam I'm sure Dad would dismantle my dismantle my game system if he could figure out how to do it. But luckily, the people who make these things make them parent-proof. Dad got these fancy gadgets. That would prob that would probably be my dad. As <coughs> Every time Dad kicks me out of the house to do something sporty, I just go up to Valley's and play my video games there. Unfortunately, the only games I can play at Rally's are car racing games and stuff like that. Because whenever I bring a game up to Rally's house, his dad looks it up on some kind of parent's website. If my game has any kind of fighting or violence in it, he won't let us play. Hmm... I'm getting a little sick of playing Formula One racing with Rally. Because he's not a serious gamer like me. All that you have to do to beat Rally is name your car something ridiculous at the beginning of the game. And then when you pass Rally's car, he just falls to pieces. My throat ahead. <laughs> anyway, after I got done mopping the floor with Rally today, I headed home. I ran through the neighbor's sprinkler a couple of t a couple times to make it look like I was all sweaty. And that seemed to do the trick for Dad. Phew. Ah. But my trick kind of backfired. Because as soon as Mom saw me, she made me go upstairs and take a shower. Wednesday. I guess Dad must have been pretty happy with himself for making me go outside again outside yesterday because he did it again today it's getting really annoying to have to go up to rallies every time i want to play a video game there's this weird kid named Fregley who lives halfway between my house and rallies and Fregley is always in hanging out in his front yard so it's pretty hard to avoid him want to see my secret freckle um no thanks. <laughs> Fregley is in my fitness ed class at school. And he has this whole made up language. Like when he needs to go to the bathroom, he says, Juice! Juice! Us kids have pretty much figured Fregley out by now, but I don't think the teachers have really caught on yet. Okay, kid. Gee whiz! Today I probably would have gone up to rallies on my own anyway because my brother Roger and his band were practicing down in the basement. Roger's band is really awful, and I can't stand being home when they're having rehearsals. His band is called Loaded Diaper, only it's spelled Blotted Dipper. On. 
um, just had to move some stuff from the washer to the dryer. Okay, so. Otto Roderick's van. You might think he spelled it that way to make him look cooler, but I bet if you told Roderick how loaded diaper is really spelled, it would be news to him. Because in dog days, oh my goodness, guys. I just. Dad was against the idea of Roderick starting a band, but Mom was all for it. She's the one who brought Roger, bought Roderick his first drum set. I think Mom has this idea that we're all going to learn to play instruments and become one of those family bands like you see on TV. Dad really hates heavy metal. And that's the kind of music Roderick and his ba band play. I don't think Mom really cares what Roderick plays or listens to. Because to her, all music is the same. In fact, earlier today, Roderick was listening to one of his CDs in the family room. And Mom came in and started dancing. That is... That is interesting. That really bud, bud, bugged Roderick. <laughs> wow. So he drove off to the store and came back 15 minutes later with some headphones. And that pretty much took care of the problem. It's Thursday. Oh, I can smell drum sheets. Oh. Yesterday, Roderick got a new heavy metal CD and it had one of those parental warning stickers on it. I've never gotten to listen to one of those parental warning CDs. Because mom and dad never let me buy them at the mall. So I realized the only way I was going to get a chance to listen to Roderick's sweet CD was if I snuck it out of the house. Shady. This morning, after Roderick left, I called the rally and told him to bring his CD player to school. Then I went off. Then I went down to Roderick's room and took the CD off the rack. Like, um, I hope I don't get spotted. You're not allowed to bring personal music players to school, so we had to wait to use it until after lunch when the teachers let us outside. As soon as we got the chance, me and Rowley snuck around the back of the school and loaded up Roderick's CD. But... Rowley forgot some batteries in his CD player, so it was pretty much worthless. Then I came up with this great idea for a game. The object was to put the headphones on your head and then try to shake them off without using your hands. The winner was whoever could shake the headphones off in the shortest amount of time. I had the record with seven and a, half and a half seconds, but I think I might have shook some of my feelings loose with that one. Right in the middle of our game, Mrs. Craig came around the corner and caught us red-handed. She took the music player away from me and started chewing us out. But I think she had the wrong idea about what we were doing back there. Back there. She started telling us how rock and roll is evil and it's going to ha to ruin our brains. I was going to tell her that there's, there weren't even any battery, batteries in the CD player, but I could tell she didn't want to be interrupted. So I just waited until she was done and then I said, yes, ma'am. But what, Red, Mrs. Craig was a... About to let us go, Rowley started blubbering about how he doesn't want rock and roll to ruin his brains. Honestly, sometimes I don't know about that boy. That boy. That boy. Friday. Well, now I've gone and done it. Last night, after everyone was in bed, I snuck downstairs to listen to Roderick's CD on the stereo in the family room. I put my, Roderick's new headphones on and cranked up the volume really high. Then I hit play. Bing, 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 bing. First, let me just 
say that I, d I can definitely understand why they put that parental warning sticker on the CD. But I only got to hear about 30 seconds of the first song before I got interrupted. It turned out I didn't have the headphones plugged in to the stereo. That's what I was pointing at. Plugged in. So the music was actually coming through the speakers, not the headphones. Dad marched me up to my room and shut the door behind him. And then he said, let's you and me have a talk, friend. Shudder, shudder, shudder. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. When Dad says friend that way, you know you're in trouble. The first time Dad said f ever said friend like that to me, I didn't get that he was being sarcastic. So I kind of let my go down. Friend equals good. I don't make that mistake anymore. Tonight Dad yelled at me for about ten minutes. And then I guess he decided he'd rather be in bed than standing in my room in his underwear. He told me I was grounded from playing video games for two weeks. Which is about what I expected. I guess I should be glad that's all he did. The good thing about Dad is that when he gets mad, he cools off really quick and then it's over. Usually if you mess up in front of Dad, he just throws whatever he's got in his hands at you. Good time to screw up. Kick. Bad time to screw up. Mom has a totally different style when it comes to punishment. If you mess up and mom catches you, the first thing she does is to take a few days to figure out what your punishment should be. And while you're waiting, you do all these nice things to try to get, get off easier. I just dusted the dining room for the heck of it. How thoughtful of you. And then after a few days, right when you 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 forget you're in trouble, that's when she lays it on you. Are you having fun? Yeah, no video games for a week. That is so crucial. Oh, that is mean. Oh. Gosh. Wow. Monday. This video game ban is a whole lot hot, tougher than I thought it would be. But at least I'm not the one, only one in the family who's in trouble. Roderick's in some wa hot water with Mom right now. Two. Manny got a hold of one of Roderick's heavy metal magazines. And one of the pages had a... And then Manny brought it in, it into daycare for show and tell. I'm letting you guys read that part. I'm not saying it. Anyway, I don't think Mom was too happy about getting that phone call. Oh gosh, you can even see it now. I saw the magazine myself and it honestly wasn't anything to get worked up over. But Mom doesn't allow that kind of stuff in the house. Oh. Okay, guys, I guess I'm going to wrap it up here because I merged. Merged, merged. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Oh, goodness. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.